Hey y'all, my name is Ariel, owner of Competitor's Edge Massage, and today we are going over advanced foam rolling. If you're anything like me, you've seen and heard it all when it comes to foam rolling. You've mastered all of the major muscle groups and how to properly foam roll them, until you have these smaller muscles you need to address. Have you ever had trouble rolling out your lats, pecs, triceps, or biceps? Because I'm about to show you how. When you begin foam rolling, you will start out with a smooth foam roller. The densities may vary, so based on size, be sure to adjust accordingly. As you move into advanced foam rolling, you move to what's called a trigger point foam roller. As you can see, this has knobs on it and it is more uncomfortable, so you need to work up to it. Here's where you find the lats, under the shoulder on the side of the body. As you foam roll, be sure to consider the pressure you're applying. These are small muscles, so we don't want to apply too much. As you foam roll to the top, be sure to pause in this very uncomfortable and unique position. You're gonna take your arm and bend the elbow and push overhead. You'll find that you're in this little groove. And again, it is uncomfortable, but I want you to perform this motion once you get to the top of the lat. Here's where you find your pecs, on the front of the chest, running from center of the sternum to your shoulder. Now we are gonna transition into our pecs. All you are going to do is tip forward and make very short motions on the front of this pec. Again, this is a very sensitive spot, so be patient with yourself as you foam roll this area and adjust pressure accordingly. Again, once you get to the top, I want you to bend that elbow and do a forward motion. Your biceps are located on the front of the arm, running from elbow to shoulder. For bicep, you're going to lean forward slightly with your palm facing the ground. And then you're going to roll from shoulder to elbow. As you can see, my hand moves from face down with the palm to a side movement as I work that bicep. Adjust accordingly. Your triceps are located on the back of the arm, running from the elbow to the shoulder. For your tricep, all you're going to do is face your palm towards the ceiling, running from elbow to shoulder. You will find not much pressure is necessary here. If you want to add advanced movement, hold a spot and then hinge. You will also be rolling your neck. I hope you know where this is. For your neck, you are gonna place it onto the foam roller at the base of the skull. Contrary to popular belief, we are not going to be rolling along the neck, seeing as how it's such a small movement. Instead, you are gonna rotate from side to side. You'll find that this movement will help relieve tension caused by headaches and migraines in that neck. For your shins, they are located on the front of the leg running from your knee towards your ankle. For your shin, you're gonna start at the base of the knee onto that foam roller in a slight rotation. You wanna be sure that you're not on the bone. That would be very uncomfortable. Running from knee to ankle. Here's a tip. If you wanna take your foam rolling to the next level, when you encounter a knot or speed bump, instead of rolling back and forth continuously, pause in the area of discomfort and then use activation. Here are a few examples. This is called compression and activation. 